Station 19 on ABC airs every Thursday at 9 Eastern time. The season finale airs tonight, starring in part this man, Jay Hayden. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you, too. Um, now, you are wearing, uh, let me describe this for the radio audience, mm. a loud well, red, well, I mean, yeah, it's loud. one would say loud uh, Red that Sox shirt, button-down shirt, but and the best way to describe it, it looks like a Hawaiian Red Sox shirt. Well, it's much. got all the things on it. It's yeah, things like um, well, this is old because the championship banners are like from 1916 and 1906. Well, this right? is the one that counts. This is the the 04 one right there in the middle. Is the the thing that kind of started right it there all. where the umbilical cord was placed many many years ago. <laughs> That's pretty much where it is. But it's changed change history now you Before. are you're you're a red sox fan i'm a, I, since birth i'm a red sox fan since birth uh because i grew up in vermont and yes. really if you grow up in new england you are a red sox fan but unfortunately or fortunately i am not a patriots fan which hmm. is not uncommon for people in the vermont new hampshire maine area because if you have a grandfather or father that was born in the fifth, who were living in the fifties or sixties, the Giants practiced in Vermont mm -hmm. during the off season. So most of us are Giants fans, and then Bill or Bills fans. We're not Patriots fans because nobody had cable TV back then. Uh huh. So we couldn't get. And so you. Dis you decided when you were younger, you were exposed to the Giants? Like The Giants were on NBC and the Bills were on CBS, and I didn't like Thurman Thomas and Jim Kelly. Hmm. Interesting. So, also, the Patriots stunk for a long time. Yeah, they were terrible. They were terrible. And so, the Grogan uh, years? Yeah, some the people Eason that I years, went to high school Eason with, years? they were Giants fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, very easy for my dad to also be like, you see that guy wearing 56? Watch him affect every play. And you could watch as a kid, and LT would affect every single play. Exactly. And so, so what was it like watching all of, I guess, most of your Patriot friend fans? Finally get well, theirs. And it get there. <laughs> well, I mean, get theirs thanks to Eli twice over. Yeah, I mean. He might not have been very popular, Well, Jay. that sucks because most of the time when you meet another Red Sox fan, they will transition to, <laughs> right. and those in pats mm -hmm. and and then you then you <laughs> suddenly you go from being their best friend to being like yeah. i actually love eli and then it's then the end of the friendship which sucks because in the airports it's really awkward and uncomfortable mm -hmm. <laughs> when it all gets down to it yeah because you know when you meet a red sox fan you know maybe a bro hug there's there's some there's camaraderie yes. instantly and then they transition into the pats and then you have to be like i, I can't stand belichick Mm. Anyway, so and well, conversely, Jay Hayden, um, when you bond with a giant fan, inevitably the yeah. page will turn to the twenty-seven time world champion <laughs> Please. New York Yankees. And I imagine that's another awkward moment for you. Yeah, you're... that moment What's sucks. For, what, by the way, <laughs> Stan looks like he hits golf balls. It's not even that. That's what I. I he has realized. the worst batting stance in professional baseball. He looks. He has my golf swing. That's what he has. Can I translate for you what that conversation would have been like had he not told <laughs> Derek Jeter, don't trade me to the Red Sox, I don't want to go there, I'd like to go to the Yankees, had he went to Derek Jeter and said, please trade me to the Red Sox, but I'd like to go there. Do you know how that conversation no, would no, have gone? because no. that's not what oh, happened. Oh, man, this Stan, he's... That's not what happened. Oh, John Carr... I mean, I can't even do the Boston accent. No, our I, by our, the way, I sounded. I our sounded, announcers wouldn't do a dumb song every time he hits a home run. You guys yeah, would yeah. be oh, oh my. Stentonian blast, Giancarlo, <laughs> me blah me blah Paolo. I mean, was that Italian? Yeah, I think so. Or, or that was fluent was Sterling. That was fluent so Sterling right there. That wasn't Italian. Come I on, at Italian. least admit that. You would be you would be Gaga over Stanton. I right have now. no comment. We're very happy with JD Martinez. Love JD. Very happy. Hey, 350. Listen to you guys. <laughs> Listen to you guys. Sander hit one into the pike last night. No, but Did it, see that, it was Jay? amazing. Oh, it was phenomenal. Are we here? <laughs> <laughs> No, but hey, look, congratulations on having the second best record in baseball. Oh, uh, it's great. There it was. So, Just but no, giant, giant fans, when they find out that you're a Red Sox fan, must be like, what's your problem? Yeah, and what then the I is? just, I basically don't get to belong to anyone. 
You know, I don't get the full, you know? Jay Hayden is an island, by the way. That, would be, that would be a great name for your memoir. Jay Hayden is an island. Jay Hayden is an island. It's true. It's true. And I mean, then Vermont's uh, kind of like. And island. then I imagine when, when, then, then when you do bond with sports, and then you start talking Shonda Rhimes, I'm sure you get that. You get. Yeah, that. and then they're yeah. like, "Oh, you're on that? F what firefighter show? Are you on Rescue Me?" I'm like, "No, that's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> Rescue Me. No, I'm not on Rescue Me." <laughs> I want. Some, I forgot who I had on from uh, Grey's Anatomy years ago on the NFL Network. Um, at any rate, I, I just told him, "I'm like, look." My problem is, is that if I ever went to your hospital and I was in trouble, I'd be concerned that you're too busy making out with somebody. Yeah. <laughs> All like, we I'm, do. I'm flatlining and you are making out to some Motown yep. soundtrack Just somewhere. Just having sex in weird yes. places. Yes. I know. There's not yes. a lot of work being done. I, I get it. I, I was always concerned about that. Like how many, the, the patient rate of success in the, in. Yeah. In the Grey's Anatomy How do universe. we have time to fight fires and save lives when we're just boning each other all the time. <laughs> That's, no, I get it. That's our the far, problem. Our technical oh, way, advisors. We have that problem here. Right? <laughs> yeah. Which is weird. That's a rhetorical question. Yeah, we already know the answer to that. Totally. Our, our technical advisors are always like, we sit around and watch sports. We don't know what the hell you guys are doing on that show. <laughs> oh, man. But this is a big step up here in the Shonda Rhimes universe to go yes. and spin off on Grey's Anatomy, and then you're part of this world. This is yes. this is an interesting gig for you. Yeah, on the catch, I was a sarcastic partner detective person, mm -hmm. and now I'm gay firefighter, and next, I mean, who knows? I'm going to be possibly the president. You never know. Something. Well, if it's on Shonda Rhimes' show, the president's making out with somebody. Yeah, I'll be making out no matter what. You know, what. that's what yeah. it is. Yeah, Shonda, I mean... <laughs> That's just, part just, of the audition. Yeah. They're like, you said the line's right. Now, are you going to make out? <laughs> yeah, I'll make out. I'll Let's play the song out. Car Wash and have a montage <laughs> to catch everybody up to speed on the uh, on the plot. Uh, wicked awesome. <laughs> it's totally wicked awesome. Yo, dude, All my friends back, dude, in, wicked awesome, back home are really like, last night when you were making out with that dude, it was wicked awesome. <laughs> I'm like... Thanks. Play Travis Montgomery, the uh, first male openly gay main character in the Grey's Anatomy universe. And again, in all seriousness, though, I mean, for a Shonda Rhimes series, this is serious business in this town, certainly on ABC. Yeah. Congratulations on Thank being you. part of that. Thank you. And so does she have a fantasy league? Is there a Shonda Rhimes fantasy league? I just want a softball team. Can we just get a oh. softball team? Well, Jason George is willing to, to put it yeah. together, but we got to... You know, it's we don't have a lot of interest. Come on, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's get him. Ellen on. Pompeo isn't jumping out of the woodwork to, <laughs> to pitch. By the way, you want to talk about Boston accents? I know. Holy cow! Have you ever? She's like she's on a central casting yes. of Goodwill Hunting. It I sounds know. like she's amazing. How do you like them apple? I mean, she's. I mean, when she shows up on set, she's so different than the character yeah. on television. So many curse words. So many curse words. It's amazing. It fits right in. Yeah. I'm telling you, like whenever she's great. The only comparison is that whenever you like would see a character from The Wire <laughs> talking in in their normal like Australian or yes. British accent, yes. it's the same thing for me when I see Ellen Pompeo in a in a in, a, in an interview. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, she sounds yeah. like she's a selfie. Yeah, she's I'm serious. Awesome. She's great. She's fantastic. All right. Well, look, Ben, uh, this was a fun conversation. Uh, good to see you uh, here on the show. Thank you. Come back anytime. Yeah, great. You know, come back anytime. We'll I won't wear this. I'll wear my giant wear starter jacket. I'll wear my giant starter jacket. Oh. Your, your starter jacket. I got an old school giant starter jacket. <laughs> Just when I thought I liked you, Jay. <laughs> See? I don't fit in. I'm not accepted. Well, guess what? Um, you fit in here because Yachty by Nature is playing outside shortly here. We have to go out and no. sing. Have you seen that situation that's I, out on I the I see a lot of setting up going on. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're, are you ready to go interview them, Mike? Yep, I'm ready to go. All right. Good to see you, Jay Hayden. Hey. At Jay Hayden double zero. Is that, that's not for Robert Parrish. Yeah, it? some other cooler. I think there's a hip-hop artist in Atlanta that got the first Jay Hayden <laughs> handle, so I'm Jay Hayden zero zero. <laughs> Well, say, just say it's for Parrish. Yeah, it's, Parrish. Say it's for Robert, Robert Parrish. Parrish. There you go. It's Very totally good. Parrish. At J Hayden Double Zero. Check him out on Twitter. And again, uh, every single Thursday night, uh, and the season finale airs tonight of Station 19 on ABC. Good to see you, sir. All right. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.